What's up, collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmicy ass clowns. Clowns. Collective, as you see, I already got your cards spread out. I am reading from um, three different decks out here. Well, four. And my own made-up deck. And I want you to please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with you. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Alright? Now, <clears throat> the overall energy is something surrounding a Sagittarius. Now this reading is for all signs. Okay, it's, this is not a Sagittarius reading, but Sagittarius is the heart of somebody's energy. There's somebody surrounding you or around you that's a Sagittarius that's up in your energy. I believe for some of you, this is your upstairs neighbor. Okay, because the overall energy is upstairs. Now, your neighbor upstairs, he could be or she could be a Sagittarius. We also have withdrawal out here. We have lawyer, high, broken hearted, a Toyota, popular, and a Nissan. Okay. So that's the, the major energy. Is the Sagittarius around you? Now this this person could be your person. They could be dealing with somebody upstairs. You could be dealing with somebody upstairs with what with withdrawal out here and the lawyer next to it and hi somebody's lawyer maybe his uh in the last reading it was a lawyer upstairs and he was doing some shit pornography and and uh prostitution and he was he owned he rented two units now here this lawyer is out here again and it's showing withdrawal high so this lawyer is running all sorts of prostitution rings pornography rings to get high and this could be a, a this is a popular lawyer damn this is a popular lawyer wow y'all heard it here first you're gonna maybe you've heard about it. An attorney getting, you know, being on the news for for uh, a prostitution ring, or an attorney on the news for a pornography ring. He's a Sagittarius or she's a Sagittarius. Um, and like I said, it's this is a popular person. Now, this could be, for some of you, this person could be coming towards you. There's somebody in your, in your energy that's stingy in the motherfucker, and they got a devil. Okay? They stingy. And some of you, fellas, this is your baby mama. Now, this don't have nothing to do with the attorney. This, this is some, some uh, divorce shit, child support, something to do with that. But that this is this is a totally different energy, I feel. Somebody's baby mama or somebody is stingy towards their baby mamas. Baby mamas. Whoa. I see a Capricorn energy out here. Somebody's dreams, somebody feels like their dreams are not coming true. Now whoever whoever this person is, this Sagittarius energy. For some of you, this this is a lawyer that's very popular. For some of you, this is a, a, a Sagittarius that don't have no identity. None. They're a nobody. Like, nobody really knows them. Okay? This person isn't in a relationship with nobody either. This person is the devil. Okay? The devil is here. 
And no dreams, they don't dream. The, the divine love is in reverse. I know you can't see it. That look like a mad face right there. Yeah. Okay, so some of you guys, this could either be this attorney's energy. This could be a Sagittarius, whoever Sagittarius is to you. This person, this, this attorney, he's withholding information or holding back paperwork or something. Yeah, it's out here twice. Court paperwork. Papers delayed. Documents being delayed. Message in reverse. It's a gift out there that you're supposed to be receiving. And it's an attorney out there holding it. Or it's a gift that your child is supposed to receive. Somebody don't want to want to cut their child off or, or their child don't want to be cut off or a uh, child's mother don't want to be cut off. But this is the energy of somebody being anchored down. Somebody drives a Nissan. Somebody drives a Toyota. Somebody lives upstairs. Somebody could be gifted. You could have like a spiritual gift. You may play some sort of instrument or something. You could be an artist. You can be just beautiful. Have a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit. Also see the energy of um, someone could either be hiding. Um, you could have found this out. That somebody was either hiding a, a, a extra phone. You found the, uh, another phone that somebody had that you didn't know about in another a little cell phone or something, uh, iPhone. You could have found some some um somebody in this phone. You could have found some, a phone in a drawer with some text messages, love messages to somebody else. Somebody could have been sending messages to their baby mama or their baby daddy, promising some sort of gifts or something. And the reason this person is promising is because they don't want to be cut off from their child. And this person is possibly doing this because whatever paperwork they're dealing with, they're trying to, they, they don't want to lose contact with their child. But at the same time, this is kind of like anchoring somebody down. Got them feeling like sunk at the bottom of the, of the ocean. Are you the ship or are you the anchor? Because the anchor... The anchor is is uh, at the bottom. You know, the anchor is what's holding the ship down. Now on this card, it ain't no ship. The ship done gone. So have you left the dock? Have you just uh, floated on away? Did you give up and let the, 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 the boat just float? The relationship float away? And these papers with the courthouse is some sort of paperwork. It could be divorce papers. It could be child custody papers. It could be DNA papers. It could be wedding um, marriage papers. Divorce papers. Whatever the papers are, it's something to do with a gift that's coming to you, okay? And some of you is dealing with a, uh, a Capricorn energy who's constantly giving giving money to people. This person, you know, they're, they're a narcissist, okay? Um, they give money to people because they people don't really flock to them like that so this is like they they have no identity so they give a lot of money to people this person don't have no love no dreams of being in love or anything you know they it's like they're the devil they're stingy when it comes to you but to everybody else and everything else they're giving a lot of money five of pentacles energy
And it's a baby mama energy out here. Somebody's baby mama can live upstairs. Ooh. That's not good. Either way, if the baby mama live upstairs from you, that's not good. And if the baby mama live upstairs from him, that's not good. Either way, it's not good. Okay. <coughs> Somebody's dealing with the Virgo. Somebody's dealing with the Capricorn. It's Earth out here. I see a lot of Earth signs. I see Sagittarius and Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Courthouse papers delayed. It's a lot must be going on upstairs. What else? I mean, we just want to get a little deeper to see what else is going on upstairs. Now, this ain't going to resonate with everybody. Okay? It ain't going to resonate with everybody. Some of y'all, the devil, live upstairs. <laughs> Literally upstairs in the apartment building. I'm not saying the devil ain't in heaven now. He ain't in heaven. For those of y'all saying, oh, no, no, I ain't saying the devil is in heaven. No, -uh, I ain't saying it. Something else, is, something else is going on upstairs that we got to find out. Knock it off, Loki. The cats try to run. Okay, so we're gonna find out what else is going on upstairs. Since some of you are dealing with the devil, this person upstairs can be it could be it could be just your neighbor, it could be somebody you know, it could be somebody you moved in. You had some of your friends or family to move upstairs. Um, we're going to find out what's going on upstairs. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Highest White is Light. Show me the energy of what's going on upstairs surrounding the collective. So for some of you, this is a Taurus that's upstairs. For others of you, it's a Sagittarius. It can be any sign, okay? You can live upstairs. There's a death spell. Secrets coming out. Secrets exposed about somebody or something going on upstairs. Whoever they is, they're a clown. Okay. They have no spiritual abundance. They've been throwing death spells. Whoever this person is upstairs. And it's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Somebody that lives upstairs from somebody. It's throwing death spells. Secret. And it has been exposed now. And now they, they're probably getting called all sorts of clowns and shit. And this person being a Taurus, they're mean. And I'm not saying that all Tauruses are mean and evil. But you know, you know, they bullheaded. So this particular Taurus... Could have got so mad, and here go a Virgo, uh, so mad to where they started trying to do death spells. They wanted somebody to be gone, okay? And this person was caught off guard. He has a Gemini energy. Healing the heart. Okay, so for some of you... Um, The person that, that you could live upstairs or the person that you're thinking about could live upstairs. Um, the person upstairs could be a Taurus. They could be an air sign. They could be a Virgo. Air sign just came out. We have ignoring them. It's over. Busted cheating. Secret relationship. Homeless.
in the pocket. Jordans. So, for some of you, this is the energy of somebody that could be having a secret relationship going on with somebody upstairs. You could expose this secret. Somebody got busted upstairs. Or for some of you, they haven't got busted upstairs. And it could be an air sign and uh, a Taurus. Either a Taurus and a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or a Virgo. Or Gemini. Gemini. Gemini is out here. Air sign out here. Virgo is out here. Taurus is out here. It can be any of these signs or it can be any sign. Okay. These can be your signs. These are just the signs that's coming out in the energy. I'm just saying different, you know, aspects what they can be. If that was the right word. Okay. So some of you, there's a Gemini out there you may not be talking to right now. You're ignoring them. You could have found that this person was in a secret relationship and you they got busted with the person they live upstairs. You caught them off guard. And you put this person out and they homeless. They just thought they had it in the pocket that uh that they was gonna wasn't gonna get caught. You was buying this person Jordans and shit. Wow, that's fucked up. Now they homeless. Soon as you as soon as you caught their ass, you put them out. They thought you was at work. You probably listened to me when I told you to go to to go like you uh go to work like you do on a regular day when you really want to catch your person. If you think they doing something while you at work, drive all the way to your work like you go. Like you go. As long as it takes you to get to your job. And you just sit there for a while or don't even go. Just however long you know it takes you to get to work and to sit there to where this person is comfortable. Where they just know you at work. Or if you have a routine where they call you all the time um, while you at work. Like they show on the cheaters. That's how you know. So what you need to do is... Somehow, when they call you, and on the normal time when they call you, text them back. You can't because whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, your boss is on your neck. Um, they caught you um, trying to talk on the phone, and you're not supposed to. But when you're texting them this, you're on your way back home. <laughs> because they texting to make sure you all you, that the coast is clear. All right? I don't know who that's for. If you want to catch him, you catch him. And then when you catch him, let me tell you something. When you catch him, don't go over there acting a fool and all that shit. Mm -mm. Don't do that. You just want to make sure it's them. And some of y'all already heard me say this in some of my other messages. You didn't already hear it. Or you thinking like it. You're thinking already. You already know. But if, if you, you catch him, don't act a fool over them. Don't fight the person they with or nothing. You just make sure it's them and you just turn around and walk the fuck away. And they're going to be scared just by you walking away and not reacting and just being calm. That's going to scare the shit out of somebody. If it's a man, his dick going to instantly go down if he fucking. And if it's a female, her pussy going to automatically dry up. Okay. All you got to do is walk away. Get in your car and leave. Because all they're going to, they, now they're thinking you either going to uh, get a gun, um, to set the house on fire or plot something on them because they was plotting on you. So now if you just walk away, you seen the evidence. God let you see. If you seen it, then don't don't fight over them. You giving them power. That's going to make them feel like they the shit. If you fight over them, hell no, they ain't, they ain't worth that shit. And if they was disrespectful enough like that to bring somebody in your shit and do that, now you walk away. And um and I'm not saying it's like 
trying to make you be like worse and scary. No, I'm telling you how to crush their fucking ego. Because they was bold enough thinking this shit, you know, um, it's all laughing and fun and games. While you at work, hard working, and he's he or she's laying up with some other person. And they thinking it's a joke. If you at work and he or she had another with another person, neither one of them ain't doing shit. So why are you going to sit there and argue? You just tell them to leave and get the fuck out. You ain't even got to say that right then and there. Once you leave and you don't say nothing, if, if they stay with you, if he stay with you or she stay with you, <laughs> if you leave and get in your car <laughs> and drive off and be gone for a while, they don't know what. They don't, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Because they're they're then they're, now their mind is, is is fucked up. They 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 got all sorts of question marks in their head. Like, what the fuck are they finna do? Is they finna go do something? What they finna do? They don't know what you gonna do because you didn't say nothing. Where usually you act a fool, or usually you cuss them out, or usually not saying that you didn't caught your person in the bed with them, but you didn't caught them cheating. You didn't caught them talking on the phone, and you didn't you know blew up on. This time, don't do that. Do the total opposite. Because when you're blowing up on them, that's making them think that they sex is the bomb and they just all this and all that. You at that moment when you see them, you just think about all the foul, fucked up shit they did to you and you walk the fuck away and take your pride with you. Okay? Because when you leave, you're taking all of that, that you're leaving all that stupid shit that they're doing with them. And you walk with your head up and let that motherfucker go because they ain't worth your energy. You hear me? And I'm going to stop right there. Peace out.